Hello. One thing we're going to go through now is how you can use things other than battle maps um, in Foundry. So I touched on this very briefly in one of the first videos for how you can make an animated splash screen. Now everybody has a landing page. I've seen loads of them on Reddit and on the Discord where someone has like a map of Barovia and their character portraits and their Taraka cards. And for ages I tried to make one of them. If you're good artistically, you can make some great ones, but I am shy at that. Um, what I've decided to change to, but I've quickly liked, is location-based splash screens. Um, so just a animated picture, maybe a token or two on there if relevant, um, but ambience to set the scene, maybe the in-game date and time, um, and that's pretty much it. So to give you uh, an example of what I'm talking about, before we make one from scratch, this is my Argon Vostolt one. So if we look at what's in here, this is one to this is one animated picture I've put as the background to the scene. The snow effect is just a weather effect I placed in via the uh, dynamic effects mod. The moon is a pale translucent light effect I put on that sort of spills out over the screen and I put an animated fog token in front of it and then I've just used the text tools to put on the date and time of my campaign and I'd have that loading um, ready when my group came in you can't hear it at the moment but there's up well probably can't hear it but there's ambient sound effects as well on there um, so we just make something nice and cool and atmospheric we're going to make a new one. I'm not going to do one from Curse of Strahd. I'm going to do one for Tomb of Annihilation, only because I made it earlier and I have all the resources and it looks nice and pretty. So Kaya, if you're watching this, you can pretty much skip the rest of this video because we did it earlier. Um, so in scenes, I'm going to click to create a new scene. I'm going to call this Force Nyanzaru and Splash. Animated splash for me. What is the file that will be used in the background here? I am going to go through my myriad folders and find location. Animated R, Fort, where are we? Fort Nyanzaru. Now, because it's used to uh, being used for battle maps, it does things like put a grid on automatically. Well, we don't need a grid, so this is gridless. It will also attempt to restrict vision based on tokens. So if Johnny Barbarian doesn't have a token on the map, Johnny Barbarian can't see anything. We need to fix that. We do not want to have this map having vision restricted by token. We do want it globally illuminated and we do not want fog of war exploration on this. So I've ticked that. We'll come back to ambience in a minute. When I click save, Here's our Port Nyanzaru animated splash. So that looks very nice, except there's some extremely unsafe plant life left over the step. I would be suing the city council if I tripped on those and broke my ankle in such a busy port area. But this is very nice. We can make it better. In my sound tab, I did this earlier. If I go down, oh, it's rearranged itself alphabetically. There we go. Um, I've made a playlist for Port Nyanzaru Splash, and I've put some tracks in. Now, I put an ambience track in. I put the sound of um, an audio track of waves lapping. It's next to a port. And then I've also added in some background music, um, which I've just realized may actually get me a copyright strike. We'll find out soon. Um, I got it from YouTube, so it would be annoying if I, if I did. So I've put it in here. Now I have, it's important to point out, if you click here, you can toggle through how your playlist to run. If I had boss combat or combat music, I would want it in sequential playback. It will play the first track, then the second, then the third. What we want here, we don't want shuffle. What we want here is this one, simultaneous playback. It will play all of those tracks at the same time because you don't want five minutes of music and then a few minutes of waves laughing and then a song and then repeat. You want these happening at the same time. 
Um, the alternative is this one for Cross. That's soundboard only. This will never play. You have to manually trigger each song or each track. That's very handy if you want a soundboard of effects for combat or for trap springing or for spells going off, just for you to refer to. I tend to have a soundboard for each location, knowing on what I'm going to be doing. Like my Argon Vostalt one has stone sliding for the trap door, uh, for the trap wall and the phantom corridor. Um, it's got you know the doors to the place. So I don't need those big oak doors creaking open in Berez or up on the Solenka Pass. So I like to make one for each location. So yeah, for Port Nianzaru, I've got an ambience track, um, some waves, and music. I don't need to do anything with them here. I could remember to play it whenever I open it, but I want to activate this scene for my players and just have them get hit by the ambience straight away. So if I go back and I configure, in ambience and atmosphere, I can choose a playlist to automatically play when this scene is the active scene. So port and splash. I can put weather effects on. Um, other campaigns kind of suffer. I feel like Curse of Strahd is fantastic for the built-in ambience. Rain, snow, cloud, crows, bats, fog, rain. Perfect. For a jungle campaign like Tomb of Annihilation, I don't really know what I could use that for. Put that's on. It's saved. Now if I activate this, I don't know if the sound will pick up for you on this video recording, so I need to test that, but here we go. I don't think it's gonna. That's a shame. Oh, I'm, not, I, I'm still stuck in soundboard mode. You see? People think I'm a foundry expert, but I still keep fucking it up myself. So sequential playback, simultaneous playback. What should have happened then when we activated it was this. Now I don't know if you're hearing that through the microphone and through the, um, through the capture. If it is, I'm very sorry. But we can see here we can change each of the settings. So for me, the music's perhaps a bit too loud, and so are the waves. So I'm going to tone both of those down and tone up the sound of the market very slightly. And I'm happy with that. Now, something else we can do is we can add in journal entries. Now, I've not written a journal entry out for, for this. I'm just going to go and grab any old one I've got, so, oh yeah, Castle Ravenloft, um, Dungeons and Cat Brazier. Let's pretend this is information about Port Nianzaru, but maybe the initial thing I read out to them, oops, uh, maybe it's the initial thing that I read out to my group. People can't, all your players can't see journal entries by default. You would have to go into the menu, right click each note, configure permission, and go and change their rights to it. So you don't have to worry about players seeing your notes. So this could just be that initial narrative you want to read when you open up into this area. It could be a couple of NPCs or a plot hook. Just something so you limit how much you happen to go off and refer to your notes. I could add text box in here of when the group have arrived. I don't know if I can copy and paste across the pages actually. I'm going to find that out for the first time now. Well, hey, we can. So I can rearrange these, move them around wherever I decide I want, update the date of my campaign, activate this. I'm going to lock that so I can't accidentally move it around. And then roll around to session start time. I'll make this the active scene. As my players join, they're getting a real sample of, you know, great for getting them in the mood for how your session is going to go. Yeah, that's an alternative use of scenes in a non-battle map sense. I want to zoom in and see how realistic these guys are. That's... There's something quite unsettling about them. They're a bit too animated for me. It, it always stands out. But yeah, I hope you found that useful. I've really got into the idea of, of using these now. Um, I'm trying to make more and more excuses to to do this and to not just use it for battle map but let me know if you like it let me know what else you want me to cover and 
speak to you soon.